All right, so we're going to start with the back right now. This is just like, you know, my shows. Guys, this truck is real clean on the inside. Like, this truck is super clean. Y'all already know, New York Giants. One day we'll be winners again. My CPAP machine. If y'all don't know, that's a Dream Station 2. That's the one they sent me after the recall. Y'all can already see that I wrapped this up in white vinyl. This as well, this is where I keep my food. Keep my clothes over there. That's my AC unit right there. And that's my little fridge. And uh, guys, I want to show you guys the floor. So this is the floor. I've already done the back half. You guys can see that it's black. It's got the wood texture, but it's black. So I did the back half. And you can't see it right now because the boot bag's in and all that stuff. But I also did the floor in there. And it's done. So I'm just showing you guys the back. You guys can see how clean the thing is back here. Y'all already know. Truck protector. Y'all don't know. That's a 45 ACP Glock 21 with the extra mag. 21 rounds in the extra mag. That's right, baby. So there it is, man. So that my weapons right here. These are the these are the weapons I use in spiritual battle. And that's for people. So that's what it is. I've been getting in the word a lot, fellas, but that's what it is. Y'all can see right there. That panel is already done up. Y'all see how that carbon man, this camera don't do it no justice, but that white carbon fiber is fire. All right, let's get to what we all want to see. Booyah! Yes, sir. Another one bites the dust, man. So let's go ahead and take a close-up look. Y'all know I got my legacy chair in here. And uh, let's take a look. So we got the SCI steering wheel right here. This used to be the oak one because I left the classic the way it was. Get it back to me with the white steering wheel. So this is the original oak steering wheel, which I sanded down, repainted it white. Gloss white with a layer of polyurethane spray, clear gloss polyurethane spray, and it came out pretty good. I mean, it's not the most perfect thing. You can see some of the little sanding stuff, but it came out real nice. I painted this piece white as well. Got the little Decepticon right there. You guys can see the dash right here. This panel got my Decepticon sticker on there. Look at that white vinyl. Guys, if you guys are wondering what this is right here, these classics had a little slot right here where so you can put like your credit card or your fuel card in there. I don't use that, but it's there for that. I thought about eliminating, but I decided to just leave it. But man, guys, check out this, check out this dash. Yeah, I know I got the, got the blue parrot, got the Viking edition. Get a little panel where the automatic shifter was. Guys, look at that white carbon fiber popping. Look at this thing. Look at that white carbon fiber. Ooh, fire. Y'all already know chrome everywhere. Got the brass knuckles. Got the little chrome buttons on everything. So what I did was I did went ahead and paint the dash black and just this panel. I haven't finished painting everything else black. Y'all can see I did the glove box as well. Guys, look at that carbon fiber. Look at that. Yes, sir. And it looks so good that I thought about painting the whole thing black, but it's just so clean. And I haven't made a decision if I'm gonna go with white. Because if you guys know, if you guys can see all the little trimmings on this truck, like all the trimmings, if you look at the door, look at the speakers, all the trimmings in this truck are black. Believe it or not, I've been thinking about just spraying everything white with the black trimmings. Now, as far as the floor in the front, I haven't done the floor in the front because remember, this used to be an automatic. So they had to cut a they cut they had to cut a big hole here because the way the cross members were in the bottom, they had to cut a they cut the first hole and they had to go a little bit bigger. So now it has this big old plate here. And this divider was already here. So you see I got the floor already done in the back. But if I would have done the front, it was gonna be like a lump. So I gotta decide what I'm gonna do in the front. For right now I left it with the rubber. Plus there's like a little spot right here that rises up. You can see right there. And then it's got the AC, International's got the AC, so which I got the passenger chair removed. But uh, I did paint this spot black with some tape, and it's holding up pretty well. So I might just end up painting this whole floor black. With time, I could come remove this plate and put a piece of wood down here and just redo the whole floor. But for right now, I'm probably gonna let it rock with the rubber in the front. The guys, this is a working truck. So I might just be, I like, I was testing to see how that black will hold up and it's holding up very well. I'm not using it with a carpet or nothing down there. And it's holding, that's just dirty right there, but it's holding up very well. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and spray the floor up 
with that flat black and give it like three coats and I think it's gonna be fine. And this, as far as this plate, it's gonna sand it down, hit it up with some paint and I might just let it rock just like this. But look how that dash looks though, fellas. Man, dude, y'all already know I got the little white ball. I do have this right here, which used to be oak and I painted it white. And just on the top part, I put, the, I put some of that vinyl here. I did try to wrap the whole thing in vinyl. It wasn't happening. It was very hard. It was coming out wrinkly. It was just too many little bends. But uh, I've been thinking about putting it back on there. But I don't know, man. It would look nice because that white matches the steering wheel. But, man, I'll tell you right now, I do like the little ball. You have to see the ball is like a marble. So I'm probably going to let the ball rock. But I do have that. Like that. This is just a fan that comes on internationals right there. And we got AC over here and got a flashlight right there. Charge of a flashlight, but yeah, man. There it is. Just showing you guys how's it going. I am gonna go ahead and finish painting all this black right here and this whole floor. So like the whole front, this whole section in the floor is gonna be black. Again, the doors, I haven't decided if I'm just gonna go black for the whole interior or if I should just paint everything that's tan white and leave all the little black pieces. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think. But man, I tell you, the dash is fire. I gotta get these two vents of chrome. Haven't got those, but uh, look at that vinyl, though, man. Man, that vinyl is just doing it, bro. And this camera ain't doing it no justice. But look at that. Look at that shine on that thing, though. Really happy the way it came out. So, there it is, fella. There it is, fellas, man. It's coming through. Guys, again, this is where the automatic shifter was, so I removed it, and what I did was I turned that into an ashtray right there, because this truck really doesn't have an ashtray. You will have to use, I think, this right here. You will have to put something there, like a cup. So I just removed the shifter, got an electrical popping box, painted it black, and that's my ashtray now. You can see it right there. But yeah, man, there it is, fellas. White vinyl dub, high gloss epoxy, white carbon fiber from Vivid. That's the vinyl that I use. Let me, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. If I should go with just black on the whole interior, or I should go white on the whole interior. I'm talking about everything that's tan is paintable because there's no fabric in this truck. Not even the roof, everything is vinyl. Except for these things right here, which I can still hit them up. But everything is vinyl. So let me know what you guys think. Should I go with all black? Or should I go with all white? With and leave all the little black trimmings? Or should I just leave it tan and just leave that little piece black right there? All right, man, so I'm it's your boy, Darkel. We're gonna be doing more upgrades to this truck as we go. Y'all already know I'm working on the inside. I am working on getting myself a 20 inch bumper for this truck. And I wanna get a turbo wing for the roof because I did remove that little air deflector that I had. I really hate the way those air deflectors look on these 92s. So I'm gonna be getting a turbo wing up there. And uh, we got some stuff coming for the International, but there it is, fellas, I wanted to show you guys the dash. I ain't done a video in a while, but you know your boy, Darkel and Darkel Customs, we've been staying busy. That's how we do, fellas. That's how we do. All right, fellas, this is your boy, Dr. Kel. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. We got more stuff coming from the International. We rocking. And on the next video I post, I'll let you guys know what your boy's been up to, where I'm working at, and what's happening. Because things have changed. So this is your boy, Dr. Kel. Catch you guys in the next one. If you like the video, thumbs up. If not, thumbs up. It's all good. It's all love. This is your boy, Dr. Kel, coming to you with another creation right there. Catch you in the next one, fellas. And I'm off that lot Black on black on black on black on black on black on black You don't have to 